So, brand new 878 UV2 Plus. It's a great radio. It's a great starter radio too, by the way. Um, and you've got battery here with a lot of power, lot of, lot of, lot of storage capacity. 3,100 milliamp hour. Okay, so now we're gonna build what's called the code plug. And I'm going to, gotta get the antenna out. Definitely don't wanna be transmitting without an antenna. Uh, I've got everything else, but you get a charging bucket, a Bluetooth button, uh, programming cable, um, all kinds of neat stuff in there. Even, even some stickers, okay. So I'm gonna set this aside because I don't need this. All right, I'm gonna put my antenna on here. By the way, once I'm done here, I'm, we're giving away the hotspot and this radio to and the computer here. I may not give you, I, I'll get you the computer. I don't think it's gonna be that one. It'll be one just like it, but I'll just have that, have that sent to you if you win. Okay, now let's go over here and get the product cam going. Okay, now upon power up, you're going to see this calibrate date, okay? And all you wanna do in this case is just hit confirm, okay? And that's gonna display this welcome any tone. And then it should just go to its default setup. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here and we're going to uh, plug the plug the radio into the laptop. I've already got my my laptop uh, programmed, or I'm sorry, my laptop uh, connected to the USB. And so you've got this programming cable. It's a true prong. You want to securely fasten it into the side of the radio. And okay, so in the interest of time, I went ahead and I installed the CPS on this uh, computer. And let's just jump in there real quick. And We'll go over here to the Anytone, but but you you can get the C, uh, the uh, CPS from our website, and you want to download the latest version. And there's a link here in the show notes on where to go get that. And I also included a YouTube video on how to install the CPS. Okay, so but in the interest of time, I went ahead and installed that because it does take a little bit of time to get it all installed, and I just didn't want to take up time on something we a lot of us already know how to do but we do have a video there that you can go look at because i definitely want to make sure you guys you know don't don't stumble around but you do need a windows computer and you definitely need um uh one that's got the ability and this 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 tablet computer does the job so here is the cps running okay i'm going to i've got the radio plugged in and i'm going to set the com port so that it just knows where to go find stuff. And then I'm going to read from the radio. Okay, I'm gonna save them or not, no. Okay, so I'm gonna click okay. Okay, so it's reading from the radio and it should pull in all that, that those frequencies from, as you can see, this is what comes with the radio, okay? So, We don't want these. We're gonna delete these. I'm gonna just cut them out because we're gonna build something brand new. Now, as you guys get better and better at this, which I know you will, you'll be able to either go out and get a code plug already done, or you'll know how to make your own. Uh, we're gonna make a very, very simple one and just to show you the lay of the land with this radio. Okay, so. We've read the radio. Okay, so we want to add our DMR ID to the radio list. And you want to click, go over here on the left side where it says radio ID. And we're going to open up this. And this is where you're going to type in that number that uh, the radio ID people gave you. So it's three, in my case, it's 312-9172. And I'm going to just alpha tag. This is Ron KC0QVT. All right, I'm gonna click OK. So that's the first step. Okay, now we wanna create what's called a contact list. Okay, 
A contact list is basically a collection of talk groups, okay? Now, if you recall, going back to that hose line, you saw all those talk groups. Every state has a talk group assigned to it. It's a, basically a number. And this is the way you can, the, the, the Brandmeister servers or the TGIF servers, or this is how they know how to route the call, okay? Because they know that it's got an, a, a number assigned to it. So it's taking your number, which you got from radioid.net, and then it's using that to create a message to communicate and, and you know where to send it. So you're, you're basically delivering mail is all this is really. So there's a, I'm gonna go over here real quick and I'm going to show you, I'm going back to the uh, show notes here. And you can see this talk group list of all these talk groups on Brandmeister. So let me, Move that like that. That way you can see this better. Okay. So if you go through here and search, you're going to see everybody out there that they've got a talk group for it, that's on the Brandmeister network. Okay. So going back to the list here, we want to create four talk groups for this, for the purposes of this workshop. We want to create a disconnect, which is going to come in handy when you're wanting to exit or tell the hotspot that, look, I'm done talking on that talk group, free up the resources. I'm going back to an idle state. So you need that. And then the second one that you need that's pretty much imperative is a, is the parrot. Now the parrot is going to find, it's going to be the way to say, Hey, did I do everything right? Because I want to know, am I connected to the network? Is my radio program correctly? So the parrot is a must too. And then of course, the two talk groups we talked about earlier, which is one to Ohio. I'm gonna to go to Ohio statewide. And then I'm gonna to go to a talk group that's in California called the Papa System. And they've got this thing called the Papa System. It runs almost all up the east or the west coast. It's a massive network and they've got this thing called Papa Chat. And so um, I chose that because it's in California for the most part. And maybe somebody can tell me all about the Rams or something. So I wanna make a friend there. All right, so those are the talk groups that I'm going to add. So let's go back over here to the programming. So now I want to get this contact list. I want to create these talk groups. Okay, so this is where you do that. You go over to the left and says create, or it says contact talk groups. Okay, so the first one we want to do is a disconnect. Okay, so we're going to, um, we're just going to call it disconnect. And this is the alpha tag. Let me take this off. And this is a group call. Okay, there's two types of calls, a group call and a private call. I'm not gonna get into a lot of the details, but a disconnect is a group call. And whoops, there's all call, group call. Okay, and then the talk group is 4,000. Okay, and how do I know that? Because I can go over here. Where is that? Uh, and I can go over here and I can do a control find of a disconnect and see, Talk group, it says 4,000 right there. So that's how I know that. So I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna make my other talk group in my, and this is the parrot, call it the parrot. And this is a private call on Brandmeister, at least the ID I'm gonna use. And we know that because we're going to type in parrot and it says 99, 9,990 9, and it says parrot, private call only, all right? And that's how you can test because you want it to parrot back your, your name or your, your call sign, okay? And I'm gonna add that. Okay, now I'm going to add Ohio because we wanna make some friends in Ohio. Okay, so there's Ohio, 3139. So I'm gonna, Ohio, group call, 3139. And then I'm gonna add the Papa system. Whoops, let me go over here and show you that one. I'm gonna go to Papa Chat, 31077. Whoops, uh, let's see. My mouse keeps disappearing on me. Papa Chat. Whoops. That's a group call as well, and it's uh, 31077. All right, so now I've created my contact list, okay? 
you can, um, as I, and if you go deeper into this uh, word doc or this uh, this document, there's a uh, there's a task for you. You can go out and get these pre predetermined talk group lists. They're already done for you, and you can learn how to import them. Okay, but that's that's part of the journey here. But I'm just showing you how they're built. Okay. All right. The next step is we want to create. Um, I already number seven. I already deleted those channels at the beginning. So the next step is is I want to create four new channels on 446.525 for each of these talk groups. So we want to go over here and open up this. So I'm going to call this the um, I'm going to call this disconnect. This is the alpha tag, and I'm going to say 446.525, 446.525. Okay, I'm going to change the power to low. The contact is already done. This is where you select your contacts, and we'll we'll build these up because we're going to make four channels. the The radio ID is is Ron KC zero QVT. The color code is one, but the time slot is two. Okay, and we want to just we know that because if we go over here, see time slot two is enabled. Okay. Okay. So that's all you have to do on that is just to add that in there. Okay. So now let's add. Let's copy. Let's just go ahead and copy that. And that'll make it easier for us. Open it back up, and I change this to the parrot. Okay, then I change the contact to parrot. Left double click. Color code one. That's because it, it, that. Remember we talked about that in the um, hotspot setup. Digital low power, all that's good. Okay, we've got that one. Let's go ahead and paste it again. And we're going to make one for um, Ohio and select the Ohio statewide. All that's still good. And then let's make another one for Papa Sist. Papa Chat. Oops. All right. And I'll get the contact. Oops. Pop a chat right there. Okay, cool. All right, now, now all of our channels are created. Um, slot two, digital, color code one. Uh, TX permits always. That was set. Okay, so now we need to. You, you, the next step in this process is you have to create a zone. It's a must. If you don't create a zone, none of this is going to work. Okay, so the zone. We're going to create a new zone, and we'll just call this the workshop zone that's what we're doing here. I'll just say workshop. Okay. So this is, I'm going to move these over here to add them to the zone. All right. Okay. That's a real simple process. So we've done nine. Okay. So the next step is where you begin to start customizing the way the radio looks, feels, how it performs, the things that go up on the display, the backlighting and stuff like that. Okay. And there's a couple of things that I want to do because I just, I just can't live without these. And that is the first one is you go and select this optional tab and this this pulls up a bunch of these uh, settings. So on the you click on this work mode. And I want to display the channel names. That's where you can see those al al alpha tags. And I don't like sub channel mode on. I want to just have the one channel. So I'm going to click that off. And you definitely want to make sure it stays in amateur mode. OK. And then. You've got um, in the display tab, if I can find it. I want to set the auto backlight here to always. I don't want this thing going off because if, if it was set, it's preset at five seconds. And so when you're doing demonstrations like this and you're trying to show somebody the thing goes off and you got to turn the volume knob again to realight it. And that just, it creates, um, it, re it creates a uh, bad experience. Okay, so let's click the power on tab. This is where I'm going to show you guys how to, make the radio yours. So I'm going to type in my name here. And I'm going to show you that when we power this thing up, it's going to say this. Whoops. Zero these all out. So I'm going to type in my call sign. And you can get pretty fancy with this, by the way. Okay, so you got that and then there's one last thing and that's an alert tone i love having a when i have a key tone i want to change that talk permit i want that on for digital and analog okay all right
So, I think we're ready to write to the radio and test this. So, let's do that real quick. So, we're going to program it. I'm going to write to the radio. I've already got my contact list, so I'm going to do that. Okay. So, I'm going to come over here. And I want you guys to see what's going on. It's going to say copy and data to the radio. Whoops. Booting. Should say my name. Yep. See, look at that. There's me. And there it is. The disconnect. I'll, I'll scroll through those channels we just did. Oh, this is volume. I got Parrot. That's We did that. Ohio. Papa Chat. And the workshop is the zone name on the bottom. Disconnect, parrot. Okay. So remember what I said. We want to check the parrot first. So, okay. So we're gonna um, we're gonna watch this, uh, watch that, and see what happens. And if the parrot comes back, then I'll I'll look like a hero here. KC zero QVT. KC0QVT. Look at that. All right, so I talked to Brandmeister and they told me I'm good. I want to make sure you guys can keep seeing that.